What's up everyone? Shane here with ROA Off-Road. We're here at the Oregon uh, Overland Show just in Redmond, north of Bend, uh, hanging out with Paws the whole weekend. It's been really, really fun. Uh, these two new trailers behind me, never before seen. This is the very first time you're going to be seeing them online on, on video. If you come to the show in person, it's been really exciting. Everybody's been walking through these kind of oohing and on bunch of people are like these are the coolest trailers I've seen at the whole show um, there's been some changes updates so these are two new floor plans um, if you've been watching us you've been seeing that pause release those two floor plans in last fall essentially and we've been delivering those since the beginning of this year these are two new floor plans and they're completely different box sizes right so the the two original ones that you've seen are 20 foot boxes and one of them slept two people and the other one slept three people these ones the one standing right behind me is a 21 foot box and it sleeps four people with bunk beds i know a lot of people have been wanting to see that i'm going to walk through it really quick the other one that we're going to walk through is the 16.4 so that's a 16 foot box it's a um two wheel instead of a four wheel trailer and it also sleeps four people so let's do a quick little walk around um i'm going to show off one of the things that i really like about this is um instead of an outside the outside kitchen is up front like the 20.3 that you've seen but you know this area because there's bunk beds above it you have a huge storage compartment and i really like that when i go out camping you can never have enough storage um, another thing that i really like that they've done is kind of rearranged some stuff, moved the max tracks to right there. And I really like how he's done that. And then they come down and just set right on the wheel well, and you don't need to put anything to hold out the table. Uh, let's go around. So the kitchen setup, if you, I'm gonna, this is kind of uh, gonna be a fast paced tour. We'll have a full tour coming soon. Um, so stay tuned for that, but just wanted to give you a quick overview and get inside as well. So the kitchen setup is gonna be very similar to the uh the 20.3 this is the 21.4 um let's head back here because there are some really cool things that they've done uh cool little storage carrier right there trash can um so this has been completely redone oh man i wish i would have opened it and showed it but now you open this door and you can access this we did a video with the victron guys when we got here to the show the guys over there were like wow you guys have one of the cleanest setups we've ever seen and we want to bring our customers over to show them how to do it. So um, everything is right here. Uh, we also have a DC to DC charger, the two solar charge controllers, roof panels and briefcase panels. Um, so similar setup, but it was just kind of tucked away and hidden before. Now you can see it, access it, um, work on it. Really, really nice setup over here. Check this out. Um, you have the, uh, you might want to go up there just so you can see, you have the battery, ba uh, the batteries right here. And these are the, this unit has 1,080 amp hours of lithium Battleborn. Um, but check up here, you can see that there's more storage here because it used to be mounted all the way to the roof. Now it's come down and mounted right here. Um, so, and then let's come over here. Some other things that I really want to point out is uh, here we have our water system in here, which is similar to the other units that we've had. Um, but one of the important things that I want to show off is, and these are some of the updates that they've made, is the Truma water heater. Prior to this one, they were using the Fagati. And then we have the Truma furnace. And they were using a Dometic. And one of the most exciting things is it's completely four seasons now. So it's ducted into the underbelly, to the water tanks, through all the weak points of the trailer. You now have full ducted heat throughout the trailer. Um, and everything over here, sorry, we're kind of tight in the show area. Everything over here is going to be similar to what you've seen. Um, this is nice to see it in action. Maynard has actually driven this trailer. Well, he's going to drive it over 4,000 miles on this trip. And he's been using his tools and, you know, camping in it. So him and his family. Coming over here, we do have a new uh, hitch that's going to be coming out. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to come, I'm going to talk about it in another video but it's a full articulating hitch and it's really cool. So I'll talk about that in a bit, but let's move inside. Okay, one of the things that they're doing on this unit 
is they're, they've, they've put, they've mounted the Garmin into the wall, right? So it's not just getting suction cup to something. Now you can still buy the separate tablet that comes out, but I actually like it integrated because usually when you want to use it, you just, you know, you, you come to the door and just work on it. You can also download the app and it does everything on the Garmin here on your phone as well. So I, 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 I just thought it was, you didn't need the tablet to come out. Um, so come coming right here, you jump on here, turn on all the lights, come on inside. This is, uh, before you come inside actually, let's, let's look at this. So they put a mounted table right here. Um, and then I'm gonna show you in a bit, there's a desk over here, but you can move this chair over here. Somebody can be sitting here and you can put two people over there and have dinner. Um, so I, I really like that they've set that up. This comes down, drops down the, the couch then flips over and then the queen bed comes out. So you still have that queen size bed right here. Now, in, in case you don't, you're not aware, they do have an option where they can put the bed mounted permanently here if you want a mattress of your choice and you always wanna leave it down into the bed position. Now, come back over here. This is like my favorite part of the trailer. This is so, so, it just looks really nice. Um, you have your little desk, throw up your laptop. We have some compartment, little drawers, all aluminum. Uh, right here, we have access to some of the, a huge star storage compartment. Goes into here and goes all the way to the back to the wall. Uh, pots, pans, obviously more food. Uh, lots and lots of storage around here. Um, these are steps, these are designed as steps, so you can step here, step here, jump up into the bunk bed. This has a 300 pound capacity. And this thing, I haven't measured it, but I'm pretty sure it's more than six feet. It looks like it's six and a half, at least six and a half, maybe seven feet. So it's very, very long. Um, and like I said, Maynard, he's out here with his son, you know, and he's a big kid, he's 18 years old, bodybuilder, lifter, and uh, he's been sleeping in the bunk bed and Maynard and his wife has been, have been in the main bed. Uh, I love how this TV is just mounted right into this frame. It also does come out and you can move it around and rotate it in different directions. Um, so an another little cubby there as well. On this side, you're gonna have similar to the, the point three, you know, you got your sink and all your storage throughout. And um, this is the, I think it's an 11 cubic or 12 cubic refrigerator. It's a massive fridge um, and freezer. And this is that dual opening way. So if you are sitting on the toilet and you need a drink, you can be like, oh, I'm thirsty. <laughs> Grab your drink from the toilet. Um, but it's also nice, you can open it and it's more usable right here. Cool little detail. Um, the Truma, the, um, the cold air intake, is actually right here. It gets sucked in through that little emblem. And then it's all ducted throughout the whole trailer. You can see there's a port there. There's one in the bathroom over the, by the bed. So now you got a nice, um, nicely distributed heat throughout the entire trailer. Um, coming into here, uh, still we have a massive, massive shower. This shower is, these are like some of the biggest showers in the world. And there's your drop, soap drop test. Oh, I dropped the soap. There you go. No problem. You can pick it up. Um, they do the curtains because they say when you're off-roading, overlanding, you don't want a glass thing to potentially break and shatter. Uh, coming in here, uh, they've added, look, towel rack here, uh, another towel rack here. I really like the attention to those little details. And then you have a vanity sink here. It's not massive, but it's sufficient. And then that's just access to your plumbing, but you have all of this vanity. Uh, the the 20.2 didn't even have this originally. So they've added that and then you have your mirror so you can get ready for you ladies out there. Um, good amount of storage, look at that. And then that's another storage down there. But I mean, they're gonna be in this thing for over two weeks camping. And then another thing is this toilet, they've kind of slanted it, like I said and it's 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 very comfortable um got lots of room space and i'm i'm a broad shouldered guy and um very comfortable so this is the all new 21.4 super cool 
Uh, the specs on it are pretty much the same for uh, this one as, and I'll do, go into more detail in a full tour, but your specs are similar, 76 gallons of fresh water. Oh, one of the big things that they have changed is on the roof, there's 800 watts of solar, opposed to 600. So if you get the fully loaded 1080 amps hour lithium, the 800 watts plus the briefcase setup, you're gonna have 1400 watts of solar, which is insane. There's nothing out on the market that I'm aware of that has that much wattage. Now, let's move on over here. We're now in front of the 16.4. I'm really excited about this guy. And um, the, the little bit on the specs, still 600 watts of solar on the roof, still 1,080 amp hours of lithium battleborn. Come check out the, the Victron system on this one too. Uh, before we go there, let's look at this. This thing completely, the whole back opens up. Um, this is practical for multiple reasons. You can pull this out of the way and just have a beautiful uh, view, right? Oh, if it's buggy or something, you can drop the screen down and the screen, it, it just Velcros and connects on the, all the way around and you can have a nice, you know, breeze coming through. It's been 95 degrees here. The first day we had it all open and the air was just flowing through. Stayed really nice and cool the whole day. Yesterday, I turned on the AC and ran the AC all day to keep it even cooler in here, but with the doors open, but you could still walk in and it felt cooler. And it was crazy because I was just running the AC all day. <laughs> um, but the idea of this, and just so you know, this is almost in the max height. So the amount of clearance you have on this thing is insane. It's not max, it's about 70%. But obviously when you're at home and you're gonna load up stuff, you're gonna drop this down to about right here. So it will be a lot easier to access. And then this mattress folds up. It has a folding mechanism right here. And then you have all of these tracks system where you can mount um, bicycles or toys. So you can, you can throw in, you know, your whole family's, this sleeps four people. So you can throw in four mountain bikes or whatever you want and have that storage capacity in the back. Um, come around here. I'm gonna shut this. And coming over here, this is the battery system right here. He purposely added this pexiglass thing so you can see all the lights and make sure everything's operating properly. But then also you can use this as a storage compartment. So you can throw stuff in there and you're not gonna bump into the, any of the components. Right here you have all the Garmin stuff. And look, this is very, very important. You now have a heat duct. So this whole compartment is heated. So this is a four seasons trailer as well as the 21.4, the 16.4 is now officially four seasons, winter camping, summer camping. That's pretty cool. So let's head over here. You do have the ladder that goes up for the 600 watts of solar on the roof. Um, where they went with the Truma Combi. So that's the uh, um, going to put off your heat and your water. Um, come right here. We have a, this is your Nautilus, your water system. And you know, it's much more compact because this is a small trailer. The trailer is only 16 feet long. <laughs> it's pretty incredible. But right here, you can see there's a heat duct right here. So you can get some radiant heat so it won't freeze on you. And then check out this storage. This is a full pass-through storage. Come on up over here. This is similar. They put the air compressor tank right here. There's not as much space in the underbelly. Um, and so that's the same one that you're gonna get on all of the trailers. You do have a little bit smaller tanks. You have the 20 pounders opposed to the 30, um, which on a smaller trailer like this, you're not gonna need much more than that. Um, uh, very, very efficient. Like I said yesterday, it was 95 degrees outside when you were touching the walls on the inside, you weren't getting much heat transfer, which is really cool. Um, the windows, everything was very, very well, very well insulated. And you have that pass-through storage over here. You also have just a little cubby storage thing for extra stuff there. Um, it's using the same suspension as all the other ones. It's the Moride suspension. This thing is unbelievably robust, 12 inches of travel. We're going to have a full tour of this one sooner than the 21.4 because 21.4 is a, a, this is like a production unit. That's a, the prototype. So I think they need to take it back to Indiana and do some updates before they officially are releasing that one. Um, but that one is, they're both coming out. They're both, I don't know what the lead times are. Reach out to us at our 801-860-0035 number. Um, there you have the Max Tracks right here. And I like that it's just resting right there so you don't have to latch it in any way. 
um, of course, plug. Love this kitchen setup. You have a nice little storage tray right here. You got the griddle or the grill, you know, flat top to uh, cook your meat on, eggs, pancakes. This is a fridge freezer. Um, obviously, they're trying to cut down weight. And so here, here goes the weight. Um, this is very important. You will be able to pull this with any half ton. Raptor, TRX, Toyota Tundra, no issues whatsoever. I would say go all day long with that truck. You're fine. Some mid-sized trucks, you could probably potentially tow it with a Jeep Gladiator, maybe a higher um, rated uh, Colorado, maybe a Defender, a, a, a larger mid-size SUV. Um, so the weight is going to range around from anywhere from 5,300 to 5,700 pounds. So that's pretty incredible. Um, all of our other trailers in this size category, like our Dweller pop tops that we have, like the Dweller 15 is 52, 5,300 pounds. And we've towed that with mid-size trucks. So this one, it depends on how you option it, like the battery. So if you go with a more uh, smaller battery bank and delete some options, you're gonna be around 53. Potentially we could do a little bit less, but um, the way you're seeing it here with the math, the, the whole battery bank, whole array, all, everything on it, outside kitchen, you're about 5,700 pounds. So right here we have a sink, hot and cold water. Let's go inside now. Both of them are running the Thule awnings um, with, with uh, the automatic wind sensors, but come on in here. <coughs> very, very beautiful. I will go into a lot more detail in the upcoming weeks and do a full tour of this thing. But we have our inside sink. We have an inside stove. We also have a microwave. Once again, it's like, you know, if you want to delete it, shed some weight and turn that into a storage area opposed to a microwave, you can. Some people don't like microwaves. Some people love them. I, I like to have a microwave personally. Uh, you have your roof mounted Truma AC unit. This thing is super quiet. We had it on low and people would come in and didn't even know the AC was running because it's so quiet, but it was colder in here, which was with the doors open. This thing has massive amounts of windows. Everybody that walks in is like, whoa, this has huge amounts of windows. Look at this. All the way around, go, to, go, go all the way around that way. So you can see that. And of course the back door, when it does, when it is closed, there's a big window along that thing too. And the cool thing about that back window, Maynard was showing me, they've, they made the window high enough where if the tires, if it's shut and the tires shut, you can still open and access the window. We've had some trailers where like, when the, the window hits the tire and so you can't actually open it if the tires are in the in position. So you have to open them up. So right here, look at this. This area is just so much light. Uh, the lights are not even on. Let me turn on the lights really quick. And it's like so bright an area in here with no lights. Uh, look at this uh, refrigerator, freezer. It's massive. This has a, a two-way fridge. So it opens up two ways. Then come over here, I'm gonna turn on the lights. This also has the same setup where you go turn on all the lights and this operates all those things and you can also use your phone on this as well. So coming into the bathroom, obviously we got a 16 foot trailer that's five to 5,700 pounds. So everything is a little bit smaller and tighter, but very, very functional. Over here you have this massive towel bar I really like you have a towel rack right a little hook right there um got some storage the toilet paper miscellaneous fantastic fan and heated in the bathroom so your toilet's going to stay nice and warm and then this area is like i have a lot of space if i shut this door i have more than enough space to use this bathroom the shower is going to be a little tight but manageable right um you close this up it's a shower curtain which makes it a little easier to move around um gonna be a little hard to drop the soap in here here's my wallet so i drop it right there this is gonna be like a squat yeah it would be really hard to do that in here but um it's a tight space it's a small trailer it's light if you can pull it with a jeep gladiator and you have an inside bathroom that's crazy um because most trailers are not going to have an inside bathroom this size period um, in a trailer this size. So lots of storage down here. Got some deep drawers, 
top and bottom C cupboards all around you have like pot drawers um, silverware spot storage all the way along here and remember outside you had that rear storage compartment you had that full pass-through storage compartment so this has more outside storage than most trailers this size um, and over here you have some storage last thing I want to show you is this table really cool table it slides so I can squeeze in and sit down and then you can bring it this way bring it that way somebody can slide in there and then you can adjust it it also locks so it can't swivel like that it also goes down so you can turn it into a bed and this is a full-size bed and that is a queen size bed so two adults two adults four adults total um, two kids easily two adults back there <laughs> this is a really really sweet trailer once again they've moved to all truma appliances truma ac truma furnace truma water heaters um, all victron battleborn battery systems controlled by the garmin this is a neat very neat trailer um, inside outside fridge and freezer full outside and inside kitchen uh, I mean what more can you ask in a 16 foot trailer tip to tip it's just about 20 feet with the tongue and the tires on the back the box itself is 16 feet and the uh, and it sleeps four people that's crazy there's not really anything in the market that fits this specific thing right now at this time and and half ton mid-size truck pullable towable too as well so thank you so much for watching hopefully you've enjoyed these videos like i said it was going to be fast quick and not in crazy amount of detail but feel pretty good about it um stay tuned we're going to be doing a full tour on this one a full tour on that one but i mean if you've watched if you go out and watch the x um the xc 20.3 by pause or the 20.2 similar specs you're going to get everything there that's going to be in these pretty much like talking about the construction of the walls go check out the full factory tours as well and stay tuned we're headed down to moab right after the show me and my family with maynard and his family and we're going to just mob through the the desert and hopefully hit some hard rough terrain i'm going to try to get him a little nervous and scared see if he'll dare to go over some of these obstacles so stay tuned for that that's going to be really fun to check out and see you know, <clears throat> that's one of the things that I love about working with these guys is they're just, they're very relationship oriented and, and he, he loves camping. He's a user and he's willing to go out and put these in. He's the manufacturer and he's willing to take it to Moab and put it through the test. And that's, that's pretty crazy. I mean, usually as a dealer, we're known for doing that. Um, so I'm su super excited about it. Thanks so much for watching. Um, reach out to one of our sales coaches and they can help you out and coach you through the process if you want one of these or anything else that we carry. Um, it's rvsofamerica.com or roaoffroad.com and it's 801-860-0035. Thank you and we'll see you soon, hopefully on an adventure. Talk to you later, bye-bye.